Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. By the way, mimi ni mependa siyasa and today, you know, ime nipata kwa barabara. And uh, kuangalia my time, this is the time I'm supposed to upload and time has really gone. And uh, nimesema kaka, I have to upload. Niko njiani from uh, mahali tulukua tunajengea yule yatima nyumba. Uh, nikaona, ah, time, ni kitambo, nifike town. Itakuwa imeisha. So, nikaweka gari kando, nikasema, I have to record. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each and every person mwenye ame to support. Tume nyumba, tunaendelea kujenga. Na tumenumua mabati. Tume weka miti. Then fund yuko pale. What we are remaining with? Tulipewa mabati, tulipewa misumali, tulipewa miti. God bless you. Kenya kimesalia sasa ni milango. I need four doors. I need four windows. And I need two beds. I need two mattresses. Mwakini patia hizo. I will appreciate. One door is 4,500. So times four. One window is 2,500. Times four. One bed is 4,500. Times two. One mattress is uh, around four to 4,500. Times two. Mwakini patio. Nita shukuru. There's something I've seen today on media. And... Um, Nimeona Senator Chirali Gay. Anapiga mdomo akisema kwamba you know eh, watu ambao hawata hawata unga mkono eh, e bill ya 2023 finance bill ya 2023 ati kama kuna mtu kutoka UDA who will not be supporting that bill he must face the party disciplinary committee or he gets uh, disciplined by the party. Now those are good sentiment. Mimi sipingi. Ni sawa. Agenda ni ya Kenya kwanza. Na kama kuna mtu wa Kenya kwanza, mbunge, ambaye, hata i support, ni sawa wapewe disciplinary. But then remember, the same idiots, the same, same idiots, recently, were against Raila's move to punish ODA members of parliament, the likes of Kina Jalango, for supporting government, and they are supposed to be in the opposition. Unajua Kenya kwanza iko na shida. Kenya kwanza iko na akili kidogo pungwani. Kwa nini? Wao kama kuna member of parliament kutoka UDA who doesn't support the government agendas according to them is supposed to be punished. Lakini ikifika kwa baba when ODA members of parliament are not defending as new or are not in the opposition as per their party leader or as their party. Kenya Kwanza, they don't want them to be punished. Now, I'm asking Kenya Kwanza, because I know this is an agreement. Mume kubaliana na kiongoziwe William Ruto kwamba, any leader, mwenyata kwa na to support, kama ume talk Kenya Kwanza, akwe punished. Ni sawa, atukatai. Lakini, in that same spirit, please, with all due respect, leave Azimio alone. And I want to petition Baba. Baba sasa kwa sababu, Kenya Kwanza wana threaten to punish the members of parliament for not supporting the 2023 finance bill. In that same spirit, please, we want Kenya Kwanza, William Ruto, and his cronies to keep off the punishment that is being uh, 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 vetted or meted. Meted or vetted. So, I'm saying, the Kenya Kwanza government, led by William Ruto, should keep off Azimio politics. Kama Raila, ameamua kupanish ODA members for supporting the 2025. Actually, na mimi ninasema, umesikia, UDA, they are punishing their members of parliament for not supporting it. Na sisi tunasema watu Azimio. Kwamba, any member of parliament from Azimio, mwenye atapigia finance bill ya 2023 kura parliament. Na ni vizuri ruto alisema ikue wazi. Ni sawa. It's okay, there's no problem. Come on, you're Kubali. So, any member of parliament from Azimio, or Makutoka ODM specifically, when you have to pay finance bill 2023, Tafadali, Aanza Kofanya packing in Mapema, Kwasababu, Isra Kari, Sisi, Sio Mama Yetu, Nakama Mekubali, Twende Evo, Nesawa. Let them punish the member of parliament for not supporting the bill. And Pia, Tunambia Baba, Tafadali, Baba, Ukwe Majo. Kama kuna mubunge yeyote wazimio, ambaye hata 
ambaye atapigia finance bill kura tafadhali apelekwe kwa disciplinary aende nyumbani na wacha niseme hivi in Kenya the constitution guarantees freedom of expression kama kuna mtu wa UDA ambaye feels like hii bill haimupeleki vizuri ako na haki ya kukataa shida iko wapi do not victimize members of parliament for speaking their mind kama kuna mtu ya azimio who cannot support the bill ni sawa ni kivyake na kama kuna mwenye anajisikia kwamba ata support ni sawa lakini kama Kenya kwanza wanataka waadhibu wa bunge kwa kutounga mkono finance bill na sisi tunasema yule mbunge wa azimio ambaye atapigia muswada huo kura tafadhali aanze safari kwenda nyumbani we don't beg we don't up. we are not begging Kenya kwanza my friend kama mnatupeleka unajua kaka kwacha niseme hivi kizuri cha chuza kibaya jajitembeza sielewi ni kwa nini Kenya kwanza are forcing us down the throat to support the finance bill mimi sijui that itself creates questions yani at lazima it, it's like a matter of life and death yani usipo support your bill itaukufe ama uame Kenya you see yani wana, wana yani they want to force us yani lazima a must ladies and gentlemen niwaambie and keep this video for future reference hii kitu mnaita finance bill especially the housing tax ndugu zanguni mimi kaka sungura ruto must know that is a daylight robbery hiyo ni wizi wa kimabavu kwa nini usiforce mimi nimesikia wakisema ati wana habari pia mtakata mshahara kaka mimi sina pay slip hakuna mimi ndio nimeajiri mimi nimejiajiri mwenyewe na nilisikia kwamba content creators amesema ni sawa au atawaacha kidogo hapo ni sawa tumekubaliana lakini please mr president you are the custodian of the kenyan constitution respect the constitution wewe umetembea kila mahali ukisema ho oh, sisi ni watu tunaheshimu katiba ho oh, sisi ni watu ambao tuko kwa chini ya sheria sisi we respect the rule of law tafadhali the same way you do that respect the freedom of members of parliament sasa najua wanaenda kuangalia tio kama ni kaka hajapiga kura ndio asipewa barabara ndio asipewa CDF ndio asipewa men that is a constitution right donge eh my friend kila mtu apewe haki yake ya kufanya kazi naniambia wabunge mimi nimesikia mbunge wa kitutu chache south ambaye ni Anthony Kibagendi um, amesema kwamba yeye hata kama Ruto amesema he is not going to support that finance bill and i support it and i support him kwa nini kaka to me i have a small car at away from the insurance niende kulipia kaka yangu shilingi 5000 na nimesikia at kama niko na bibi kwa nyumba niende kumlipia tax kama mfanyakazi at tena kaka mimi kama niko na kwangu na jenga at hata kama niko na nyumba ushago kwangu at lazima tena nilipe 3% tax iende kunijengea nyumba Nairobi iende kunijengea nyumba Kisi Town na mimi siishi huko so nani mimi nimesikia county commission na mwingine hapa akiambia wakenya ati sasa tunataka mkuu landlord ati sasa tunataka tukue mkuu nini unawezaje kuwa landlord na bed sitter ndugu yangu how unakuaje landlord na nyumba ya two bedroom because kaka i'm not going to be given the entire apartment kwa sababu najua housing ile wanajenga apartment kama ni nyumba 200 in that particular apartment kila mtu anapewa section yake kaka nipewe nyumba ya three bedroom mwingine apewe ya three bedroom within the same 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 apartment sasa iko commission anaambia anadanganya wakenya huko mashinani kwamba ati unajua ukipeana 3% tax ati unaenda kuwa landlord landlord namna gani na nyumba ya three bedroom kwani unaenda ku rent nani ama tuseme sasa kaka nipewe yangu nichukue one bedroom one bedroom mwingine niite mtu ni muzie sitting room pia ni uzie mtu hiyo ndio landlord mnamaanisha wakenya sio wajinga God bless you ladies and gentlemen see you in the next video asante sana